In this video, part of our Awesome Cycles website series, I'm going to show you the group notification options here within Nuke 6.2. Now, in a previous video in the series, we went in and we created a new group. And in the interim, I created some additional groups as well. So we have three total groups that have been created. At this point in time, they've all been created by the administrator account, but group functionality is something that you can allow other users of your website to create. As an administrator, when a group gets created, you receive a notification about that creation. Notification shows up here in the top right corner where we see the exclamation mark. And we currently see that we have three notifications available to us as the administrator. If we click on that, it'll take us to the notifications page that's part of the messaging center within .NET Nuke 6.2. So here we have a list of the three groups that have been created. As an administrator, we can reject the group or we can just dismiss the notification. Now dismissing that notification causes it to go away and you can see that the countdown up above in the notifications tab decreases as well as we click through those. Now up in the very top we still show three notifications. Once we click on that though the page will reload. You can see those notifications are no longer visible to us. So as an administrator we can see when new groups are created within our website. Now if we want to control who can create groups within our .NET Nuke website, if we go back to the groups page we mouse over the manage button. We go to the settings option for the social groups module. Within the social group module settings, we have the ability to control whether groups require approval or not, the creation. And on the permissions tab over on the right side, we have the ability to control who can create groups and who can be group moderators. So we'll see more of that functionality in future videos within the .NET Nuke video library.